Creating a budget is an excellent way to track your spending, which will help you to avoid debt and increase your savings. Your personal budget will allow you to see exactly where your money is going and if you are meeting your financial goals each month. Your first step is to select which month you are budgeting. Most likely, you are starting with the current month, which is selected by default. Please be aware that you will have the ability to go back and view and edit your previous month's budget as well as enter information for the next two months. After your first budget is complete, a copy previous values button will appear, allowing you to transfer over all information from your previous month's budget so that you do not need to re-enter it all. Then you can make edits to individual fields as necessary. Enter your total household income that is available for you to allocate towards your bills and monthly expenses. This may just be your income, but could include a spouse's income as well as any additional money coming in, such as income from a rental property. Click Save to set your income amount. Next, you will break down your expenses by category. Select each category by clicking on the plus sign. This will create a dropdown of the individual entry fields for this category. For example, housing and utilities will cover everything from your rent or mortgage payment to your water and gas. Enter the amount you are budgeting for each expense under the budget entry field. How much should you budget? Your mortgage or rent payment is a fixed expense, so enter that payment amount here. For items such as water and gas, come up with a number based on your average monthly payments. It's better to round up or guesstimate on the higher end because then you won't have to worry about going over your budget. At the top of each section, you will see a fixed monthly expense category. If you already have a budgeted amount that covers all or a combination of items in this category, you can enter the total here. Just be sure not to add the total and add it as an individual item. Expenses should only be covered one time. Continuing entering your budgeted amounts for each entry that applies to you in each category, you will want to account for all of your expenses for the most accurate results. For categories that apply to you but are not listed, you can add that amount under Additional Expense. Once you have entered in your budgeted amounts, be sure to select Save at the bottom of the page so that you don't lose your entries. You can also use the Save button if you want to stop and return to complete your budget at another time. Click Save anytime you add new information to your budget. Throughout the month or at the end of the month, revisit your budget to fill in the Spent field. Your Spent field is the actual amount of money that was paid for that expense this month. Did you hit your budget exactly? If so, you can click the copy icon so that your budgeted amount will appear in your spent field. Remember, once you add any information into your budget, you'll want to click the save button to set your entries and have them apply to your budget report. After you've completed each month, select your budget report from your menu. Using this report, you can track how many months you've been budgeting, your income each month, the amount you budgeted and spent, and if you went over or under your budget that month. If you went over your budget this month, go back and look at which categories or specific entries caused you to overspend. Maybe you spent a little too much on dining out this month. Next month, try to cut back and see if you can hit your budget. Maybe your electricity bill is extremely high this month, and you know you can save by remembering to turn off lights and electronics when they're not in use. Watching where your money's going is the best way to start saving. Were you under budget this month? Don't rush out and spend what's left over. Consider adding this extra money to a savings account where you can create an emergency fund or meet a savings goal. Each month you create a budget and make any necessary adjustments, you will be closer to maintaining your goal of hitting or being under budget. Congratulations on creating your personal budget with your protection plan.